538 Nashville's Morning News on Super Talk 997 WTN. Time for the Gang of Three Amigos. Good morning, Johnny B. Good morning. Ken Weaver's here. Morning, Ken. Ah, good morning, boys. Yeah. All right. So, a uh, couple of things. I think. You know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably um, ask this question of the listening audience. All right. How much do you care about the whole Epstein thing? Because, you know, I asked about that whole question regarding guilt by association, and mm-hmm. you know, so on and so forth. And I think I got like two or three resp- responses. Yeah. The two of the responses were. We don't care. Now, I would never program the radio station based on, you know, this Jeffrey Epstein thing. But, you know, I myself have been having, you know, might just give a crap on this story is just it's 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 not as high as on other stories. So I want to know from people do care about this story. Just give me a yes or no on the Epstein thing. How much do you care about this story? Because I was talking to somebody yesterday and uh, he was like. You know, the world is crumbling down around us and the Democrats are trying, you know, 15 different ways to keep Donald Trump off of uh, the ballot and the borders are a mess. And this is just not on my priority list. Uh, Now, 8602, the first one out of the gate. Thank you, 8602, says, I do care about molested children. So there's one. Yes. But I Uh, think that's the whole problem with people. I, I think when people say they don't care. It's not that they don't care. It's just I don't think they think that uh, anything's going to come from it. Yeah. And that the most powerful are going to get away with it. Yeah. And well, I think that's a big part of it is. And that's part of why my give a crap on this has been, you know, a, a little uh, on the low scale is because I just I don't think that anything's going to happen. And, you know, if Bill Clinton did do something wrong, as I said yesterday, he does need to be held accountable. Well, we've already been told by. You know, Congressman Tim Burchett, you know, he's I mean, he told you yep. his people tell him that the flight logs, you know, the, the client lists, they've been washed. Yep, Long been ago, lost. they're gone. If oh, there's sure. anything, I would say if there is anything that truly, truly proves that any very high official like a, you know, Bill Clinton did something wrong, I think it has been probably washed. And the thing is, if there's one guy who, you know, this story fits his personal profile, it is Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. <clears throat> seeing a lot of yeses, seeing a lot of noes. Uh, definitely newsworthy, if accurate. So I guess I'll continue to cover it. Well, so- remember, Johnny just mentioned this off mic. You me- remember about a month ago, we were doing the story about the human trafficking ring that was busted the U.S. Attorney's Office there in Massachusetts yeah. announced this thing was nationwide. Yep. yep. They were trafficking in Asian women that appeared to be underage. And they apparently these were membership clubs. Yep. Where you gave over all of your information, name and that sort of thing. I mean, that that attorney was talking like there were there were going to be some. Bombshell reports coming, and it's been crickets ever since. Now, you don't know. Maybe they're investigating it. Who knows? Could be. But I think from what I'm watching and what I'm looking at with the super text line is I think people kind of like what I again, what I said yesterday. I just I don't think anybody's going to be held accountable. And I think that the people, as Johnny said, you know, a lot of these logs and timber chat, a lot of these uh, flight logs and so forth have all been washed or cleaned or, you know, redlined or whatever. So, yeah, I just I don't think there's going to be much to come of this. The the Democrats are trying to make hay out of Donald Trump being on the list. But of all of these people, especially if you compare Bill Clinton and Donald Trump, Trump looks far, far more innocent than Bill Clinton does. Well, he wasn't a president. He wasn't a president at the time. Sure. And that's number one. And number two, uh, Bill Clinton is mentioned many, 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 many times. Took many flights. Took many flights. And plus, was it known as the Lolita Express at that time? Because if it were, that should have told you plenty. Yeah, that's exactly right. That is exactly <laughs> what, right. What kind of guy this was. All right. Now, uh, Ken. Yeah. There was uh, something that uh, apparently happened when I was out for the week or so. Okay. 
where I guess did you and JD have a thing? Yeah, uh, where brother, brother, yeah, yeah. The mayo and banana challenge. Yeah. yeah. So, so are you telling me that JD Hayworth enjoys mayo and banana together? No, he does not. Oh, I told him that I would. You would. I have yet to try that, but I will try it. I don't even have to try it. I know I'll like it. Bananas and real mayonnaise sandwiches on that real fresh white bread. It is gross. No. Yeah. Oh, I think, Johnny, what say you? I am about to upchuck with the thought. Goodness. Yeah. That'll be bad for Brother Mac when he comes in. Banana. banana. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Um, Brother Mac. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Was our game last night? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, you know, for me personally, that that does sound actually disgusting. I'm I think curious as to how that came up, though. I, uh, I can't remember how it how it did either. Uh, but I was supposed to report back to him the following morning, but I forgot that uh, I was off that morning. <laughs> oh, right. So I uh, did you, not report back. And you didn't even call in and tell him. <laughs> I was asleep. Ah. Uh-huh. Well, let's see. Twenty seven nineteen says mayo and banana is uh, delicious. Oh yes. And uh, eighty two forty five says yeah, that whole banana and mayonnaise thing was way too long. So let's just move on. <laughs> oh, you, you don't want to relive that again? Uh, I, I personally, you know, I don't because it sounds actually disgusting. But you know what? If you wanted to, uh, you know what I bet likes uh, bananas and uh, mayonnaise. What's that? Black bears. Oh, yeah. And there's a whole bunch of them coming to Middle Tennessee, according to wildlife uh, regulators. They're black here bears. already. Really? whole bunch of black bears already in Middle Tennessee, according to the TWRA, Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. Really? 5,000 to 6,000 black bears in Tennessee, but they're all coming to Middle Tennessee. Well, why wouldn't they? Everybody else is. Yeah, they're getting pushed here from all, all the development. Taking away their oh, is that homes. what it is? So they're just making their way here. Well, I hate to tell them there's a lot of development here, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember, uh, was it uh, last year They uh, there was a black bear in uh, Nashville? Is this? South yeah. Nashville. Yeah, in 2023. Yeah. Well, so where, like, are they in, obviously, you know, they're going to be out in the foresty treat areas. Well, they've also been uh, around, like, Antioch. There was one scene in Antioch. Yeah, it was in June. Yeah. Seen in Antioch. Yeah. Well, they'll probably get robbed in Antioch. So, so. they, yeah, they probably. Especially would. if they're carrying a uh, banana and a mayonnaise sandwich. That's right. Apparently, Matt Murphy tried the banana and mayonnaise sandwich. They oh, like did it. He? he actually sampled them. I, I don't know. A super texture said that Murphy did indeed try it. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't have to try it. I know I will like it, and I will, do, I, I will have some. Okay. I know I'm going to like it. I love mayonnaise. So what do you, can I ask a question? So what do you do if a, if a black bear mm-hmm. chases you? Like, um, what are you supposed to do? Well, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to at first make yourself look as big as you can. Yeah. It's going to be hard for me and you, Ken. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> raise up your hands. Yeah. Um, right. but, uh, you are, you're not supposed to go anywhere near a cub, which I think I remember this is in East Tennessee. They had to take care. Uh, I, I, will, I, I, I can't say anything about it. it. Apparently, there was a cub in Tennessee, in East Tennessee, yeah. and um, tourists were trying to take pictures with it. And it did not end well well they're so dumb they are dumb unfortunately you know for the mother because the mother you know takes care of the cubs are you Um, supposed to run from a bear yeah well you need to get you need to you can make yourself look big make yourself look big but but the thing of it is is try not to sneak up on them what what a wildlife regulator will tell you is like especially if you're hiking maybe you know have have jingle your keys some hikers actually wear little bells that make a sound while they're hiking to give a bear or another predator like that a heads up that you're coming because apparently bears don't like to be surprised. Okay. Especially if they're mob of bears with their cubs. Yeah. 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 And please don't take selfies. And don't try to pet them. No. Yeah. Or feed them. No. You guys ever, I, I talked about this before. Um, somehow on my, in, I think it's my Instagram, 
I follow a a an account where it's like all about animals. And one of the things that it shows, I've got to stop following this. You guys ever seen a Komodo dragon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how they eat goats? Yes. And and I, I am now, I think we talked about this before. I'm now having nightmares about being eaten by a Komodo dragon. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I find it just fascinating where these dragons just... You know they're they're like big lizards and and their their tongue sticks out and yeah stuff. they're big dinosaurs and they just walk up to these goats and just oh yeah eat, just eat them like they're an appetizer yes what like like they're bananas on with a mayonnaise <laughs> yeah. on them. yeah yeah and and so I I actually had had a dream the other night that I was being chased by a komodo dragon <laughs> it's kind of things I dream about were well, you able to uh, get away from it no. Let's just leave it at that. Well, Dan, I want to give you something else to dream about, all right? Be yes. a little bit better. Please. Uh, you know, the Rolling Stones uh, video, Angry. Yes, I've the, watched it many times. Yeah, a lot of people have. And uh, a lot of people have commented on how pretty the actress is, Sydney Sweeney, who is the uh, female in the video. Well, you now have some uh, women's rights groups that are coming out, and they are saying that she's being objectified. In the video, because of uh, her body and uh, well, what she's doing, she's <laughs> basically. Ken, have you seen the video? Yeah, now I know what you're talking about, she's, brother Johnny. She's B. basically in a car, and it's a convertible, and she's like writhing around the car as it drives well, down dancing. Ventura Boulevard. Yeah, she yeah. she's dancing, and she's kind of playing the music. And yeah, and, and she's she's you know very well endowed. Well, as she puts it, then this is uh, Sydney herself. She told uh, the Glamour UK, she said, I felt hot. She said, I picked my own outfit out of racks and racks of clothes. She said, I felt good in it. She said, I have a beautiful body. I'm celebrating that. Nobody coerced me into doing anything. She said, it was a fun video shoot. The Rolling Stones are iconic. And she said, I love being part of it. What did, can I just ask, when did, when did feminism become bullying pretty women who are proud of their bodies and if they choose to if the word is objectify if they choose to objectify themselves then what's the problem you know what i think the problem is the problem is these feminists nobody wants to objectify them oh that's true and so they're like they got to be like just these I, i don't know i mean is it wrong to say these women who are ultra feminists are got to be the ones that nobody wants to objectify so maybe there's a little bit of jealousy there so they're going to come out against Sydney Sweeney who she's using her body for her own career advantage right what is the problem right and let me tell you something by the way if uh, men have you know really big biceps and stuff and you know it's sun's out guns out kind of a thing well men can do that so why can't sydney sweeney do what she's doing exactly all she's doing is dancing mm. she's dancing to a very cool song and <laughs> yeah i don't understand i just can't i can't you know what it. good for sydney sweeney yeah and i have no problem with um you know what she did on that video well you know it's like i told my times. older sister <laughs> i told my older sister she said well, but how old is the actress? And I told her who she was, and I said, she's about dating age for Mick Jagger. Yeah. So, well, and you do have that. You know, every summer in downtown Nashville, it's suns out, buns out. Why well, it is. That's the truth. Right. What is the? That's the thing. What is the problem? I mean, these girls running around with shorts pulled up to their chest. Yes. Is with, it? With cowboy boots on. <laughs> Because that's how we all dress. And cowboy hats. Here in Nashville. Or cowgirl hats. Oh, the objectifying of women. So dumb. And then if you put on a guitar case, because we all walk around like that in Nashville with cowboy hats on. And sure. <laughs> carrying our guitars. <laughs> Boots on. Especially yeah. old Marble Rye over there across the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like how Sydney Sweeney just puts those people in her place. Yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's just basically telling them to shut up. Well, I business. like when she said, I felt hot. <laughs> Well, okay, we celebrate that. Well, and 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 you know, I didn't I didn't realize that. And here's the crazy thing: so these modern feminists, right, who are taking time out to criticize uh, Sydney, Sydney Sweeney, right? Right. These are the same ones that have nothing to say about trans women or dudes being allowed to play female sports, or they choose Bill to go Clinton out. hitting on yes. women uh, and. 
at times. That's uh, exactly right. Yeah. So they have nothing to say uh, about those things, but they'll go after Sidney Sweeney. It is uh, unbelievable. And you know what? Sadly, these days, it is not entirely shocking. It is 553 on Nashville's Morning News on Super Talk 99.7 WTN.